what is important is at the beginning of is each session is to go in a coach, what we call in a coach state, mm -hmm. which is a state where we are centered, open, aware, connected, and holding. And when we are both together in this state, then we can have really uh, create really something new. Uh, mm -hmm. Really have creativity in, into the session. Welcome to this new episode, and today I am here with Leticia. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Very nice. So Leticia is a life coach and also the owner of a natural brand of supplements called Mood. So can't wait to get into it. Uh, Leticia, what is your story in life up until now? Yeah, I was born in France. I'm French and. Uh, um, I'm also Métis, my father is from Guadeloupe, so from a very young age I was uh, living on the island. Wow. Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe, yes, in mm -hmm. Caribbean island. Um, yeah, my, my parents were nurses and uh, were already uh, treating people in a different way. And um, uh, it was like uh, a bit difficult at home uh, when I was a kid, my mother got sick. My parents got divorced. It was very, very, very complicated for me. And uh, very early, I, I really um, felt like, yeah, I need, I need to, to do something for myself and, and for others. But I didn't really know what it was. Uh, my first career was in uh, hospitality industry. So I managed restaurants in Paris. Wow, what kind of restaurant? French restaurant? It, uh, it was like, um, Fast food, healthy fast food restaurant. Healthy for, fast food. For okay. business women, businessmen. Uh, yeah, I, I did that like very early and, and I, I managed and coached people at this time already. And I was already more into, um, interested into the human uh, communication, uh, behavior and mind and trying to understand them. So the business part, the number part was not really my thing, but uh, yeah, I was already interested into that. So I work in restaurants and I start to have to read some self-development books and uh, try to learn a little bit more about emotional intelligence. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. So you had uh, this um, upbringing in, on the island and in Paris you were working in the restaurants, but always interested in personal development, right? Reading books, etc. So what happened? I mean, uh, there's any, because usually when I interview people, I know that uh, sooner or later there is some sort of crisis point. Maybe not, not for you. Oh, yeah, many, many tragic points. But I, I guess why I changed uh, career, uh, it was after some travel. And I guess Copenhagen <laughs> was one of the travels that changed a bit my perspective in life. Um, yeah, I start to travel and take more and more time off, uh, um, unpaid time off to travel and to visit the world. And I realized that I was really trapped in a system that was not working for me. I, I, really, I was living in Paris and I was really missing to live close to the nature. And uh, my work was really uh, good at the beginning, but that in one moment I was feeling that I need to do more, like uh, I can do more. And I also, I want to have more freedom of my time and uh, work closer to nature. Okay, sounds good. So I had a burnout. <laughs> you had a burnout. That's how you explain it very, very kindly. Yeah. <laughs> I had a burnout when I, uh, my company opened a restaurant in London and, and it was really, really too much. I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I lose so much weight. I was so stressed out. I was so... So I was giving all my energy for, for this company. Yeah. And, uh, and then I just quit and decided to, to travel a little bit more and look for what I was going to do. Uh, so yeah, I tried, to, I start to heal myself first and, and learn a bit more about uh, my wounding, my emotion. And, um, and yeah, I, I decided uh, one day that I'm going to learn to be a coach. Okay. When I was when I was a manager, I I already had one one training as a manager coach, and I was a 
it really like hit me like wow this is something amazing that I would love to do mm -hmm. and um, and yeah it took me five years to really start to do the studio yeah five mm -hmm. years ago very good very good so now you've been a coach uh, well you were a coach before but now you're mm, sort of the second level coach yes. if you want yes. since five years yes yes very cool very cool and um, I mean, it's, uh, it's lovely talking to people, helping them. Uh, you say this is a family sort of history yeah, with it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your coaching? So how would you define it? Uh, what are sort of the characteristics of it? Uh, so I, I practice mainly generative change, generative coaching, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a technique that has been developed by Robert Dills and Stephen Gillingham. Um, so it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's therapy and coaching together. Mm -hmm. So it's actu there is actually healing happening. So the main focus is uh, creativity. Uh, so how do you really create something new, something that just with your mind you will not have imagined. Uh, so you go really wider and deeper because we are connecting to different kind of intelligence. So mm -hmm. the intelligence of mind, heart, and, and gut, mm -hmm. but also um, intelligence of uh, the somatic intelligence, the body, mm -hmm. uh, and intelligence of oneself and the field. So we are connected to resources. We are. We really. Um, uh, what is important? It's at the beginning of is each session is to go in a coach. What we call in a coach state, mm -hmm. which is a state where we are centered, open, aware, connected, and holding. And when we are both together in this state, then we can have really uh, create really something new. Uh, mm -hmm. Really have creativity in, into the session. So that's how you stimulate the creativity by yes. making them very present, relaxed in the moment. Yeah. And then things kind of flow f from the subconscious. And, and then from this state, uh, we we create intention. Mm -hmm. uh, we create we have a special way to create an intention, so to create a focus of where we gonna, where we want to go, what we want to speak about today, what we want to create. And um, and from this space we see okay, like what's what's gonna be the next step and, and if there is obstacle happening, if there is emotion or or, or like yeah, since obstacle we really take them as, as resources. So we really like invite them into the conversation. Uh, so uh, because if they show up in the session, they will show, show up in life, right? So, sure. so we need to open them and to welcome them, and 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 yeah, for them to be part of the conversation. So there is really healing happening in the session, and then there is um, also the idea of when I come back home, I have a plan and I know what is going to be my next step. Oh, that's also practical. Yeah, Sounds also good. practical. Yeah, 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 and future oriented. Yeah. Okay, that sounds cool. You know, I also trained in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. I find it very fascinating. I also talk uh, about uh, hypnosis or hypnotherapy, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you actually hypnotize people? Or? <laughs> uh, I, I, I learn hypnosis, I learn NLP, but I don't practice so much anymore. Mm -hmm. no. So it just, it's just there in the background. I'm sure it comes through <laughs> during the sessions. In uh, different way. <laughs> but maybe not consciously. You know, there's, there's an element of subconscious that uh, NLP works on when you become a, a therapist or a yeah. practitioner, which is very interesting to me. Yeah. Cool. So um, let's say somebody feels like they need uh, some change in life. They want to improve their relationships. Maybe they want to change job or career. So they reach out to you. And uh, typically you have a chat with them. And then how long does it take? Uh, for them to sort of you know start seeing the benefits uh, how long is the program typically uh, so yeah we always have a first chat to see if we can work together and then we have uh, what i call a clarity experience it's a very intensive two-hour session uh, we where we get to get it to know each other and dig a little bit more in the past and what's happened and what are the challenges mm -hmm. and that we create a generative intention uh, so it's an intention for the work we are going to do together. And, um, and from this, people decide uh, if, if they want to go on a short program, which can be like uh, three sessions, mm -hmm. or a longer one, uh, three months, for example, where we meet each other every 15, 10 days. Letizia, uh, I know that as part of your coaching, you also uh, advise people to take a certain supplements. And uh, more recently, you came up with your own brand, which is very cool, very exciting thing to do. <laughs> yes. So what is mood? 
Yes, yeah, so mood was created uh, during COVID uh, two years ago. Yeah, 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 two years ago uh, uh, when COVID uh, hit our planet, I, I was uh, in Copenhagen and uh, before I was uh, giving uh, leadership training in Paris uh, mm -hmm. a few times a year and this was uh, cancelled mm -hmm. because of uh, the crisis. So I was in Copenhagen and I was thinking, okay, I need to upgrade, I need to do something new. And I had this idea for a long time and this passion for natural medicine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came up with this brand mood, which is a natural supplement uh, that uh, helped to have, uh, to feel good. <laughs> so it's only natural, natural herbs and, and mushrooms that help you to feel good, uh, uh, to relieve stress, uh, to sleep, or um, to raise your serotonin, to be more focused. Uh, I work with a um, mushroom that helps to, uh, uh, to upgrade your brain. Ooh, it sounds very <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, of course, um, and uh, so the recipes, uh, I mean, it's, this is a blend of different herbs that you put together and you target them by therapeutics. So mm -hmm. I remember there was one that you were um, recommending people after a, a party and big night, uh, like some oh, yeah. hangover uh, pill, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow, yeah. can you show us? So, yeah, I have this, I have this happy mind, uh, mm -hmm. which is a uh, cool. five HTP yeah, on yeah. turmeric. Tryptophan, eh, it's a precursor of serotonin, right? Yeah, yeah, to help to raise the serotonin. Cool. And turmeric. And I mix it with turmeric. Yes, Anti-inflammatory. Yes, very good for the brain also. What else do you have? So the last one is, uh, it's my new one, it's from last week, Brain Upgrade. Mm -hmm. Lion's Mane. Lion's Mane with uh, niacin vitamin B3. Oh, sounds very good. Yeah, so this is very good for the brain. It's the brain, brain best friend. <laughs> uh, so good for neuroplasticity, neuroregeneration. Um, and I like to advise my clients to take that kind of products when they are doing uh, some um, mindset work or learn something new or want to create new, new thoughts, you know, new beliefs, because it's help. It's like um, when you go to the gym and you are take, taking proteins for your muscles, so it now you have food for your brain. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I saw that it cre really creates um, change faster. That's very good, that's yeah. very good, you know, and there are, of course, uh, the active ingredients mm -hmm. that uh, are supporting people physically, mm -hmm. and also the idea of taking uh, some sort of pill might have also some placebo value, which is very important, particularly if you're doing mindset work mm. or psychological work in the context of an LP, etc. Um, it does it does make sense. You know, I actually delved into rituals and the placebo effect mm. and everybody knows what it is, but nobody really realizes how important it is. But then, of course, 5-HTP, I used to take it myself when I was burned out mm. and uh, yeah, to help me sleep, etc. So I know how p powerful it can be. Uh, I also take some ashwagandha sometimes. Yes. Are ah, you got yeah, the ashwagandha? I have ashwagandha. <laughs> yeah, I love this one also very ch for chill and focus. And actually, you know, I, it's interesting you speak about the pl placebo because uh, when, when I, I make the design, I really think about like, okay, what's people going to read and, and, and feel when, when they take the, the medicine. And inside each of the, um, the package, there is actually mindset practice. So how you can put intention in your supplement and how do you be grateful. So m mood is really the idea to combine the power of our mind with uh, natural medicine, both so together. You know, it's not just like I'm taking medicine and, I, and I'm not taking care of, of my emotion or my mind. It's, uh, it's both like using what um, Mother Nature gives us and to help us and also using our own power and yeah, yeah. energy to change. And the combination, uh, I, I'm sure, you know, in a holistic system as well, mm -hmm. I think uh, the, um, the sum of its parts is more than just the mathematical or arithmetic sum. You know, there's some sort of a compounding when you combine two things at the same time. So the, the physical aspect that indeed, particularly ashwagandha, I remember when I take it, I get such a clear mind and calmness and like presence so naturally it's amazing Focus, yeah. but then at the same time if I do some meditation or if I think about certain t or you know if I put some intention mm -hmm. that's certainly compounded right? It's really, yeah it's really powerful yeah and 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 when I work with, with clients who have um, 
for example, an intention to, to change or, or create something new. And when they focus every morning with, to the, with their intention and, and taking the medicine, it's really powerful. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> One of the uh, great mantra I like is the Oponopono. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, so simple, but so lovely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's very good. So I'd like to learn a little bit more about your Copangan passion now. Uh, how long have you been here, like on and off? Um, so I keep saying 14 years, but I think now it's maybe 15 or 16 years ago. Yeah. Cool. So you were coming for the full moon parties back in the days, or you always I mean, had uh, the holistic uh, glow? <laughs> no, 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 no. I came with a French group, a sport French group. It was supposed to be for one, one week. And uh, the first day I arrived, I went to the Black Moon party. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't sleep. And I was like, what is it? What is this place? I didn't do so much sport at this time. I, <laughs> I went dancing a lot. <laughs> I stayed two weeks and then I just came back every year. And it get longer and longer and longer. Um, and yeah, three years ago, when the border were closed, I, I decided that, yeah, I'm going to stay here and really try and start to live here. Yeah, yeah. Life is the best. <laughs> so what is special about Copangan now? Uh, so the latest version of Copangan, if you want, mm. compared to 15 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say the, um, the community, the community, uh, the, the amazing people we met and different character and, and how, um, yeah, this feeling of, of belo belonging, mm -hmm. of course, the beauty of the nature and, and and the simpli simplicity, you know, like uh, I, uh, I really, I really enjoy to, to be surrounded by this nature all the time, and to be in the small place where you get to be recognized and recognize others. Yeah, uh, and, and all the variety of experience you can have also. Like you, there is really, really so many things we can experience um, and try and. It's such a reason. It's very diverse and uh, very international, of course, very beautiful. Mm. Cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing you more and more in Copangan then. Uh, I know that sometimes you go to some of the festivals or some of the events uh, with, your, with your supplements as well. And um, yeah, it's nice to see you around. And it seems like, you know, you are uh, going to be in Copangan. Is that your intention for the future? Yeah, yeah. I want to stay in Copangan. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's been okay. good. It's been good. <laughs> That's lovely. Well, uh, Letizia, thank you very much thank for this you. little chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.